In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, we're going to go thrifting in Owasso, Michigan, and we even found a few garage sales along the way. So if you're up for a good shopping adventure, then let's go ahead and dive into this week's episode. One quick note before we get started though, if you're new to my channel, I just want to welcome you. My name's Kelly Sherry. I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. I love taking you along as we go thrifting, garage sailing, and flea marketing. So if you're interested in learning how to do some of this, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Well, you guys, the shop is going to be open in just a couple days. Yes, the grand opening is this Saturday. I can hardly believe it. It's so exciting. Anyway, here is our trip to Owasso when we picked up some cement heads. Yes, you guys, I ended up getting some cement heads that will be for sale in my store. And I'm also raffling off one on Saturday. So if you're there, you have a chance to win one. So a couple weeks back, before I broke my ankle... We had went to Owasso because there was someone who makes cement there and he does it wholesale. And I decided I'm going to buy some of these for the store because I think they're going to be a big hit. Debbie wanted one. My mom wanted one. And so now we have them for the shop. But when we were in Owasso, you know we had to hit the thrift stores. And like I said, we even came across a few garage sales. It's an exciting time. The garage sales are starting. The flea markets are going to start opening. I cannot wait. It was 9 o'clock in the morning, and there was Debbie. Just like clockwork, she was ready to go. Come on, girls, let's go. We got places to go, people to see. Let's do it. And before you know it, we were on the road to Owasso, Michigan. I think I became obsessed with these heads when I went to Lansing and met Delane Wright. She's my countertop twin. Remember, she had the same counter as me. Anyway, if you haven't had a chance to watch that video, make sure you do. It's hilarious. Anyway, she had some stuff in a consignment store, and she took me there, and I've seen these heads, and I didn't get them, and I was kicking myself that I didn't. Then, probably about a year later, I went to the Vintage Farmhouse. It's owned by Misty. She's super nice, and if you ever get a chance to go to the Vintage Farmhouse, make sure you do, because it is a hidden treasure for sure. It's located in Holly, Michigan. I have a whole video on that and I'll link that in the description for you so that you can check out the store. It is amazing. Anyway, she had this head there and I was like, oh my gosh, here's my chance. I'm going to get it. And then it wasn't for sale. Needless to say, I was pretty bummed. And Misty, if you ever want to sell it, I will take it off your hands. So yeah, the whole cement head obsession started a little while back. And here we were on our way to Owasso to place an order for these heads. The only thing was you had to order them and then pick them up the following week. So we actually made two trips to Owasso. Of course, we had to stop at a few thrift stores along the way. Our first stop was at this thrift store, which is a Salvation Army. And again, that is in Owasso, Michigan. The first thing I noticed was these cute little plants. And of course, Debbie noticed them too. She decided not to get them and I decided just to browse. I found that the store didn't have a lot of stuff, but we still managed to find a few cute things here, as you're about to see. I spotted these blocks a mile away. I don't know if you've ever seen people make snowmen out of them. However, they're so stinking cute and I wanna make some for this Christmas. What'd you find, Dom? A little Noel sign. Lights up. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, you know, of course yeah. this is going to come again, so. <laughs> yes, you're probably right. Mm -hmm. What you got there? No, it's just, I thought it was looped. Yarn. It does look looped. I'm oh, sorry. I don't know if it is or not, but I thought, wouldn't that be cute to make some black sheep? <gasps> oh, my gosh. You know, the loop? Wow. And she it has is, such good ideas, doesn't she? It is she? looped. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, black sheep. Yeah, that'd be cute, wouldn't it? For sure. Of course, you'd have to get the base. Yeah. But you make them on the go forge. I she was right. I do make these on a glow forge. Do you guys remember when I had the sheep and I did that sheep project where I wrapped the yarn around them and then it came out just so super cute. These sheep in my Etsy store were like the hottest item ever. Yep, so I really like her idea of doing a black sheep. I really never thought about doing a black sheep, but it probably would be so stinking cute. Yeah. 
This is a nice picture. However, I'm not really crazy about the green or the yellow band, so I definitely would repaint this. At $3.99, that is really a good price though. I really wish there were two of these because you could really make a grand looking shelf, put one on each side. You could even put this on maybe some furniture. You could embellish a counter with it and really make it look grand. That's what we did at the shop. I found these decorative pieces in the thrift store. They're actually like curtain rod corbels and I added them to the counter and they just make everything look so royal. I don't wanna to give too much away because next week will be the whole reveal of the store. So yeah, if we had two of these, we could really do something with them, but with one, I'm gonna pass. Oh, I love this, I'm gonna to have to get this. Oh, what's this over here? A little stool, how cute is that? But I'm not really seeing a price on it, but you know, we can always take it up to the front and ask, it doesn't hurt to ask. And yes, of course, I am gonna paint it. The flowers are not my thing. Is Debbie forcing you to get something? Another bun pan. Another skin. Oh half yeah, off. half off. Yeah. My mom was joking earlier that Debbie was making her buy all this stuff. Do you guys remember the pumpkins that we made out of the bunt cake pans? I think that was probably my highest viewed Trash to Treasure episode. If you didn't get a chance to watch it, I'll leave a link in the description for you. That way you can check it out. What the heck is this, you guys? I don't even know. And it's $11.99, so I'm probably not going to get it, even if I do figure out what it is. I like the corrugated metal on this. That's not a bad price, $3.99. They sure do have a lot of Christmas here, don't they? What do you got there? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, Debbie, she makes me laugh. I love that sign. That is hilarious because opening the shop, although it's been fun, there has been some stressful times for sure. You just want everything to go perfect, and life is just not like that. Here's a perfect example. Like, I need this right before the grand opening. Oh well, what can you do? Anyway, that sign was definitely very fitting. What do you got there, Mom? Your little individual salt and pepper shakers for you know, dinner, so oh. everybody has their own. Oh, that's cute. And I had um, quite a few of them at the Packard show two years ago. Mm -hmm and they went really quick. In fact, a lady came up and said, do you have any more? Because I would love to buy them, but oh. I, I sold out. Well, now you can replenish those. <laughs> yeah, they're cute. Yeah, they are really adorable. Yeah. We got a cute little candle here. And then, of course, we need this for the shop. Yeah, that's very cool. And the bunt pan. Oh yeah, the bunt pan that Debbie's making you get. Right. <laughs> oh, there's another one? Yeah, but this one is in half off. Oh, okay. Well, then we will not and be I getting I only it. have about 15 at home. Now these, you can actually pick up at the dollar store for a dollar, and they're brand new. You want to pay more for those vintage ones. Those are the ones that are worth buying. Well, let's go see what Debbie's doing, because uh, I think we're ready to leave. These, I thought, uh, I don't know. Do you want cool? to fill a bowl or something with it yeah. next year? At the store? Tomorrow? Maybe. I don't oh, no. I got so much of this stuff, but yeah, no. I didn't know if you had any. So. See how she wants to give me things? She's putting these back, you guys. Oh, this is cute. That is cute. I looked at that, too. I thought that was really cute. That's cute. I would add a couple more little things. <laughs> because I tried closing with those little kids. And a cup and, and some curlers to, yeah, you know, try and make myself beautiful. Oh, Debbie, you already are beautiful. You don't need those. All right, well, looks like you got some good finds. The next stop was Volunteers of America Thrift Store. And let me tell you, it was quite windy out that day, as you can see. I think Debbie's going to have to bust out those curlers. There's a mixer. That's your mother's mixer? Yes. She had that, huh? Yes. Wow. Oh, that's cool. She got both bowls and she'd make the cake and then frosting in the small. Oh, cool. Wow, look at this typewriter. Well, that is about the going rate for typewriters, so I'm not going to get this because I probably can get it anywhere. A flea market, Facebook marketplace. 
If you can pick it up for under 50, then that is a great deal and totally worth it. If it was Valentine's Day, that would oh, be really cute, wouldn't I it? I have some Valentine's things. Uh-huh. This looks like it's a good store. A lot of home decor. Look at that birdhouse. That's a cute birdhouse, right? Depending on how much it is. Let's see. Eight dollars. Now, in hindsight, I probably could have doubled my money on it, and maybe I should have gotten it, but I didn't. These are cool. Those are cool. How much are those? Six. Six dollars. That's not bad. bad. Wow. That would have looked great on the fireplace. Yeah, it would. <laughs> right? Hmm. Maybe we should get two just to add to it. I don't know. They're very cool, aren't they? I was saying. All right, I was thinking these would be cute just to put a little wreath here. Uh huh. I think that'd be nice. Yeah, I really like those. Six dollars is not bad either. No. All right, I'll get two. All right. Grateful, grateful. Oh, little drawers. Those are cute. Yeah, grateful and thankful. You know? Look at that home sign. Pick that one up. They're right here. Oh, there's a few of them. Let's Home, see. hello. I like the little beads on them. Three fifty-three. Oh, okay. Oh, do you see that? That's yeah, exactly what I was I'm looking. Going at. after it. Well, it's of course, nah. Nah. <laughs> too, much, too much work. Too much work, huh? Yeah. That's okay. I don't think I'll live that long to finish, <laughs> finish all these projects. Nah. What is it? Well, that is sweet. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, good. <laughs> it's an ugly bee. <laughs> yeah. Put that I'll be. <laughs> I'll be putting you back. That's what <laughs> that's it is. Right. Yep, that's where you went. I don't like the holes. No. No. Somebody was shooting at Santa. <laughs> oh, those are super cute. Those are cute. Put a little greenery yeah. in them. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Show me your kitchen sign. Kitchen open, roll on in. Kitchen closed, beat it. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Oh, here's some fake fruit. My mom's gonna love it. <gasps> Lemons. Oh my gosh, she almost <laughs> ran me over with a cart. <laughs> Lemons. Yes. Oh one. yes. Oh yes, one. She'll take them all. She'll take them all. <laughs> and I'm not greedy. <laughs> Oh yeah, those are really nice. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, another bag of lemons. She just scored again. Yeah. Oh okay. my gosh. She always spots stuff that I never see. Those look like enamel pans. Yeah, they're How much? Six. Six dollars, okay. They're kind of cool though. Yeah. You could even put a decal on there. Absolutely. Or that um, wallpaper with the black and white. I just looked at him. I don't know. He's a little too... Yeah, wild. <laughs> yeah, he looks wild. Yeah. This is a good price for that, I think. $40 for a barrel table. A barrel alone can cost you up to $100. That has a lot of character, too. I thought this was really cool. I kind of liked the color until I turned it around and saw the big pretzel. That went back on the shelf. What you got? 
Oh, that's cute. Thank you. Someone will buy that. Best. Mm hmm. That's cute, too. It's got something on it, but. I can touch it up. White paint or yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's cute. That one is beautiful. I love it. You know what I like? I like the raised letters like that. The one that I bought that says, if you can't be nice, to leave. Yeah. <laughs> the girls love it. Oh. Yeah, I would get that, Mom. How I much am. is it? Seven. He's trying out a chair. What do you think? Be careful. Be careful. Furniture I bought in the back. Be careful. <laughs> Why is that? We Break two chairs when you we sit went, in them. She always tells me no. We went to a garage sale in Romeo last yeah. year. And we walked up the woman's driveway. And Debbie said, oh, I like this chair. So she sat in it. Uh -huh. And she went right through the bottom. <laughs> I'm that fat person that always looks for the wicker and sits in it. <laughs> I like that, but I'm never sure about gold. Yeah. But I mean, gold is really nice. How much is it though? Seven. Seven dollars? Yeah. I, you know what? You definitely could sell that at the the show. Some people love gold. I know. I mean, they do just because we don't. Well, it's not that I don't like it. It's just, you know. It's a nice shape. Yeah. You might want to get that. I think you could sell that for sure. My mom had a great idea for this paper. You can run this through the shredder and you can use it in bird's nest, baskets, as a filler. So I thought that was a really good idea. And then I got this three different textures of white yarn and I do the Christmas trees with the cones. Oh yeah. And I just wrap them around and they sell really, really fast. Oh yeah, that's a good idea too. All in all, I thought the Volunteers of America thrift store was a really good thrift store. It was a big store and it had a lot of stuff, but you know what? Time was ticking and it was time for us to go and order our heads. I can't tell you how excited I was to go here and order things for the new shop. He had a pretty big selection of cement items. However, I was mainly there for the heads. So I placed an order for them and the following week I'd have to come and pick them up. Well, it was the following week and we were back on the road heading to Owasso. And that's when we discovered a few garage sales. And the garage sales have begun. Or so I thought. Those crates are nice mm -hmm. for display. Crates. Just as we were looking around, the woman came out of the house and said, oh, the garage sale is until tomorrow and I have to leave. So we couldn't even buy anything. Talk about being disappointed. We got back in the car and we were on our way. We ended up finding another garage sale along the way, and this one was actually open. One dollar. Huh. What's that? Okay. Oh, uh, just a quarter. What are you going to do with those? My son loves these. Oh, okay. He keeps them in his freezer for Easter. That's, yeah, that's cute. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. How yeah, much is it? 50 cents. 50 cents? It's the way to go. Cute How much is it, Mom? Dollar. A dollar? Wow. Yeah. Wow, check these out, Cal. These look like Halloween. Let me see how cute decorated up with like Halloween and stuff. That does look like Halloween. They are. They look like an old witch's shoes. I'm going to have to get that. You want them? Oh, there's even a hat in here. She got some stuff in there, Mom. How much did you spend? Four seventy-five. Not bad. We're off to a good start. What about you, Thank Debbie? You. I've got you some cups for Jason. Uh huh. And I got a bunch of little ads and stuff. Cool. A That's a card key for the girls. Okay. Can I tell you, it was so nice to be out garage sailing again. This is where you're going to find your best deals. Our next stop was the Goodwill in Lapeer. The first thing I came across was this basket, and this sign was in there. I really like this sign, so that was the first thing I grabbed. Right. 
And then I came across this tree. It looks so spooky. It would be perfect for Halloween. I almost couldn't believe it. It was $2.99. Heck yeah, we're getting it. We were off to a good start. These were like cast iron, and I probably would have gotten them, but the cow looked a little weird, and so did the rooster, so I put them back, even though it was $1.99. Isn't that the truth? It's the friends we meet along the way that help us appreciate the journey. Oh, I'm going to have to get this. What'd you find? Huh? What'd you find so far? A cow. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's really pretty too. It's like a trellis with a yeah. box. Love that. How much is that one? Uh, $3.99. Oh my gosh, that's a bargain. And then a little bird cage. Oh, that's candle. cute. Yeah. And this tray. Oh wow. That's pretty. Little that's really cakes. pretty. Yeah. For my lemon. Oh. Stuff to put together. Oh, yeah. $2.99. That's good. Oh, look at these round chickens. How much are these? Actually, I have a few already. Yeah. But $4.99. Okay. What are those? The Pioneer Woman. These are like seven, eight bucks a piece usually at Walmart. Oh, wow. And then they have a whole set over here, huh? How much are they right now? Oh, that's really good, Deb. Yeah. It is really cute. It is cute. Five dollars? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, two snow globes, huh? Yeah. I thought about getting this, but then when I picked it up, it felt so incredibly cheap. That's another thing. You want to make sure that your things feel like quality. I love this. And in Dryden, where I'm opening up the store, there is a lot of farms and cows and everything like that. Yep, we're going to have to get this. My mom probably would like this. She likes all that lemon stuff. Oh, this definitely is a winner. Oh, these are really cool. They feel like cement. And at $1.99 each, how can I pass them up? Just look at these. When I was standing in line to check out, Debbie handed me these. And she's like, do you want them? I thought they'd be really cute. Heck yeah, I want them, Debbie. I'm going to paint them black. After we left that Goodwill, we stumbled across another garage sale. Oh, another witch's hat. And for a quarter, we got to get this. Then I came across this. No, not the little toy trucks and airplanes. The enamel pan. And he gave it to me for $3. It would make such a great planter. But I really think it was my mom who got the deal of the century. Would you find? Oh, yeah. You got to get them. I mean, that would be great for Halloween, those two. Be careful. Don't fall. And they are literally a dollar each. Oh, my God. You did good, Mom. After this garage sale, we had to get going because we had to pick up those heads. And let me tell you, it was absolutely nail-biting driving home with them. Every little bump, I thought for sure we were going to break them. Debbie and my mom wanted to stop back at that Volunteers of America just to see if there was anything new put out since last week. So that's what we did. They have some really good promotions there. 50% off yellow tags, 75% off pink. Not bad. 
I thought this was really pretty, but this is something I normally wouldn't get, so I didn't get it, which in hindsight, I really probably should have because I know I could have sold it. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like a napkin that has a pretty print like this on it, and then someone decoupages it onto maybe a jar or a canister, and this is what this looks like, and I know that somebody definitely would have wanted this. Oh well, that's why they say hindsight is twenty twenty. Oh, this breadboard definitely has some character to it. I'm going to have to get it. Well, this is kind of cute, and it would be great for Christmas. Well, wait a minute. How much was that again? Four fifty-four. Yeah, that's not a bad price. Oh, yeah. How much? Three, three dollars. And then you're thinking about it's, that? Well, it's Christmas, and it's a really nice. It's clean. Uh-huh. And it's, um... How much is that? Four. Four? I could see this sitting on a hay bale. I bet you my mom would love this. This is true. It's almost like that saying, if mom ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Oh my gosh, will you look at this? Look how old this is. How much is this thing? $7.99? Oh, I'm going to have to put this in the basket. Oh my gosh, look at these patterns. They're like vintage. That's one thing I noticed about this store. They have vintage items, and then they have your everyday household kind of item, too. These are kind of pretty, too, for Christmas. Hmm. I might get these. If I can get them untangled. Yikes. Oh, and look. Okay, these are 606. Maybe I won't get them. I'm totally going to get this, though. I could have used this for my taxes the other week. I hate doing my taxes. It's like zero fun. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I don't Let me know. see that. I like the weird things. I like. I no, no, he's cute. You know what? He almost looks like. Oh no, Mr. Bear. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Doesn't he? Definitely. Yes. Ready? You know what I love about going out with my mom and Debbie? It's so much fun, and we laugh, and we just have such a great time. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us. Don't forget, the grand opening is this Saturday. For those of you who can make it, I cannot wait to meet you. For those of you who can't, I completely understand. And next week, you are going to see the whole store reveal. If you like this episode of Flea Market Rescue and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. I'm Kelly Sherry and this has been Flea Market Rescue.